Now, growing concerns as more and more people start using drones, the FAA questions whether they can safely share the skies with other aircraft. Medical helicopter had to circle for nine minutes because a drone was flying around Miami Valley Hospital. And while no one was hurt, the Dayton incident shows how common privately owned dr drones have become and, of course, raises questions about their safety. Nine on Your Side reporter Brendan Keefe explores the issue for us. Brendan? The FAA says commercial flights of drones are banned, even for news organizations. That's why right now we're flying this one in the newsroom because the FAA doesn't have jurisdiction indoors. Just one more example of how when it comes to regulations, these things are still up in the air. The footage is stunning and it's all over YouTube. Aerial video recorded by regular folks with inexpensive quadcopters. But the drones are sharing the skies with full-scale helicopters and other manned aircraft like Dayton's Care Flight. A medical chopper pilot circled Miami Valley Hospital for nine minutes with a patient on board because a drone was flying near the hospital. Since that aircraft is an unmanned aircraft, we have no communication with it. The drone pilot has not been charged, but others have been arrested and some have been attacked. Someone call the cops! I'm being assaulted! This is what the teen was recording, wide shots of a Connecticut beach where the people looked like tiny dots. You should be taking pictures of people on the beach! You want to stop assaulting me? She called the police, but when officers arrived, they charged her with assault. It's a matter of scale. The camera here on Chopper 9 has a 72x zoom lens, while most quadcopters have a wide-angle camera of the GoPro variety with no zoom. Yet the FAA considers both of these to be aircraft subject to regulation. This nearly two-ton helicopter and this two-pound radio-controlled toy. This flight caused a scare in Seattle when police and national media reported a drone had struck the Space Needle. It didn't. In the very same spot earlier this year, a full-scale news chopper crashed, killing the crew on board. Small drones crash often, but rarely with dire consequences. And full disclosure uh, right now, full disclosure, I fly my own drone as a hobby, but I couldn't show you any of the footage on Channel 9 on 9 on Your Side because the FAA says that commercial use would make the legal flight retroactively illegal. So, so where, that's where it stands. So where does the law stand right now? Brandon? Well, you better ask a lawyer. You'll get multiple answers, Carol. It's still in the courts right now. The FAA lost a challenge filed by a commercial drone pilot it fined, but an appeal is pending now before the full NTSB board. Meanwhile, the FAA is seeking for the very first time to impose new regulations on hobbyists and modelers who fly drones. Because Stay these tuned. things are popping up all over the place. Well, now. indeed they are, and maybe there ought to be some training of some sort. All Sounds right. good. All Thanks right. For